you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're doing wonderful. So I have to put on my my serious tone now. I can't be serious. Okay, so this is TLT, the ETF for 20 year and more bonds. And I talked about it many, many times, even before it became popular. Now everybody's talking about the yield. I've been talking about it for some time. So what do I call this? This is a flush. This is a flush. Why would the flush happen? It happened because somebody is trying to average down and protect this. And, 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 and this bad boy was trending down and then breaking him down. And after all that break, boom, a flush happens. So I did talk about a, 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 a bullish uh, candle. I did not believe in the bullishness of that candle because I understand the psyche of short covering and oversold rallies. I know the, the shorts got their rear end handed to them times and times and times again. So that is why they do these type of candles. So I do think and I do believe we're going to have lower low than this low for TLT. See, once a trend is, is, is intact, it does not stop until it frustrates everyone this is life this is the stock market it does not end that easily it must frustrates everyone so tlt is to go down yields to go up i believe that and i do not know the future all right this is uup the etf for the dxy the mighty king the mighty dollar and i and we went up really nice this time and I think let me let me check because I, I don't have uh, I have many uh, many providers and I do have the always the professional uh, package, but I do like the stockchart.com. I don't know why I have issues, a and uh, it's gonna be updated later. So uh, before it updates, let's look at the ETF. Even though I can do the DXY from trading views and other venues. Uh, and other, plat uh, other platforms. Anyway, so uh, we did break out of the bullish wedge and we did do the one, two, three reversal I talked about. And it's right here, bullish wedge. This trend line, one, two, three reversal. This is different than this one. You have a high, a lower high, a failure. Here you did not fail, you succeeded and you had a follow through. I I think now we almost, uh, uh, I would say 92.50 maybe. So we are inside of this range. So the dollar is bullish. And is, is it going to stop? It would, but it must frustrate everyone. Even though this is over overbought yet, this is a very high reading. So please do remember that once you have a trend intact, it does not stop until it frustrates everyone. Don't listen to people, including moi. Okay, so I talked about TLT. I talked about the dollar. Let's talk about the NASDAQ. So what happened in the NASDAQ? As I said, the theme is head and shoulder everywhere, and we broke it. And what I said last Friday, I said short covering, and I stated that you can look at my videos, and they sold at seller's areas. Those guys were afraid. They were terrified. They don't want their rear ends hand and get handed to them. They don't want that. They they got screwed all over the place. So what is different between this pattern and this pattern? So we have a parabolic top, and and we we got uh, we stopped at a price memory, and we tested that high, and we had higher low. So this is a bullish, bullish pattern, bearish pattern. Anybody that thinks this is a, a bullish pattern, that person does not believe in technical analysis. And, and uh, it's extremely obvious. We are in breakdown mode. We might. I think we will, but I don't want to be uh, arrogant. We will hit a measure move of this pattern. You could look it up yourself. I'm not going to do it for you. But... Uh, 
after the measure move, we, we, we don't know what's going to happen. But I know for sure, at least I believe, I don't know the future, we will have hit a, a measure move. Okay? And no one knows the future once. This downtrend is intact. It's going to frustrate everyone, I promise you. I promise you. This is, this, is the, this is the state in the market. It always frustrates people. And this is uh, the cues. And I talked about the same pattern last Friday and how this beautiful candle looked beautiful and reversal candle. Yet I said, and I still say that, this is a short cover and rally. These people were terrified. They want to, they, they, some of them are insolvent, poor guys. Some of them lost their shirts here. So they just want to lock in their profits. Poor guys. <laughs> anyway, so the Bears uh, won uh, the battle today. And I think they're going to win this war. And anything and everything now uh, for the Qs and the NASDAQ points to lower prices. Let's look at Tesla. Whoa, same thing happened with Tesla last Friday. This rejection from lower price memory. And it meant nothing to me and it should mean nothing to you guys. It was a short cover and rally. And now, now we really, uh, this is the lowest close since December of last year. Okay, so this is definitely bearish. Uh, if you buy in Tesla now, you're trying to catch the bottom. You really are catching a falling knife. I really don't know the future. I know there will be a measure move here. I'm really bearish. But let's look at Apple. Apple is the same. I think and I believe I will be right. But I don't know the future. This is the one to one measure move for this pattern. Okay, good deal. So uh, more price uh, retracement. I think you might have some people, at least the algos will buy the 200 day moving average, but we don't know the future. This is the, uh, the stupid money uh, baby. You know, this is their sweetheart. You know, a lot of, uh, a lot of non-professionals are buying this, this name. And I think they got their hand, their, their, their rear end uh, handed to them too, poor guys. So this is an IU. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, guys. All I know is uh, is there's nothing uh, bullish in the market at all, uh, and it's not liquidation mode yet. Uh, a lot of a lot of smart money are buying uh, the financials. See, a lot of portfolio managers cannot turn to cash, so they uh, they sector rotate. So they put their money in the financial based on fundamental reasoning, which is the high yields. But I think. Eventually, even the banks will go down. I don't know the future, but I've seen it so many times. This happened in, in 2007, so I do remember that. And uh, please uh, like if you like, subscribe and share. And, 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 and do love Disco. And, 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 and know the Disco is the Alpha and Omega. And nothing's going to save you except the mighty Disco. And I wish you guys the very best. And please do remember that Disco's forever!